This is a CS341 sample video looking at the way colour spaces can be used to represent change. What I'm doing is I'm recording the values at a single pixel which is highlighted with a pink circle at the top and now I'm showing you a plot of these in RGB space. You can see on the plot the green wall and you can see there's another group of pixels coloured in pink in the far corner which represents when the light goes on and off. Here's the uh, video clip again so you can see what's going on and maybe remember how that relates to the, the rotating plot I've just shown you. Here's another clip where I'm moving my shadow in and out of the pixel and what we'll do now is we'll see how shadows look in this context. Uh, here we've got you can see that they become brighter in RGB space um, as the light goes away but it makes a kind of line because the shadow edges are blurred. In HSV space you can see the shadows are slightly clearer. There's a sort of dark region and a bright region, and uh, it might be easier to detect these in HSV. Um, so there you go. Here we are. Input again, so you can relate that back to the graphs you've just seen. And uh, finally, I'm going to show you an input video where something moves actually in front of the camera. So this is in background subtraction. If, for example, you've got something moving in front of the background, in this case my hair, which is pretty black, apart from the bits which are grey. So you can see here there's a cluster of pretty black values and a cluster of grey values. Here's the HSV plot, and again I think you can see from this rotating plot that HS and V are more clearly separated, um, and again recap of the video so you can see what's going on.